What's up guys, it's your boy Maverick. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Today's video is gonna be all about... What? What the hell? Okay. Um, hello? It's time. Who, who is this? You need to come here. Okay. Hey, this is Peyton. I just want to see if you want to come over and check out some new equipment. Well, that was weird. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm here with my fellow filmmaker friend, Peyton. Hey there. Uh, we're about to review the difference between a DSLR camera versus an actual C camera. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of differences, and I've gotten to a point in my career where I just made a huge upgrade that I'm very excited about. And I started about six, seven years ago, and it's only now that I've really made a huge upgrade that's going to make a big difference in what I do. And I thought this would be valuable for us learning about... Um, you know, different levels of gear and the progression it takes to move forward. This is my 50 2.8 Canon lens, and this is one of the cheapest lenses you can get. It's pure plastic, and I've used this thing for about five years straight, and it's done me very well. It's definitely a high-end lens. Um, for the price that you pay for this, which is like, what, $128? You, you can usually get it for like 70 if you buy it off market a little bit. Yeah, and it's and it's super cheap, it's super durable, and it, it just, it'll save your life mm -hmm. whenever you need it, yeah. Yeah, it's just a phenomenal entrance, like, lens. If you're just getting into it and you can afford the camera but not really a good lens, you can really get some phenomenal things with this. There's just certain drawbacks that once you get a certain point in your career, you realize that you would rather spend less time correcting the flaws of this and just buy a new lens that kind of gets rid of those flaws for you. Mm. You can get the job done, but you could also upgrade. There's different different levels to things, and you can open it. This is the 51.2. Which is this lens, and it's absolutely phenomenal from what I've heard. I've seen images with this shot on, and it's absolutely stunning. Like, 1.2 on a cinema camera compared to a DSLR is like, that video focus is absolutely insane. It like, it'll track it, but it'll keep the person in focus while maintaining the shallow depth of field. And that's a lot of what I hope we accomplish today is just comparing the lower end entry level to the higher end so you can kind of see why it's worth it and if that's something for you that you want to put that extra effort in to get a little bit better of an image and just things like that. But yeah, there's definitely a size difference. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and really, it's just very refined, sharp glass. And what's nice about the L series and getting cameras all within the same like series of glasses is you'll get a lot of the same colors versus mm. buying different cheap ones because you can get pretty cheap Sigma lenses, you can get pretty cheap Canon lenses. They're all gonna have different color sciences and way of handling your image. With that, this should last you basically your lifetime if you're not dropping it, if you're not doing things. Versus this, you know, I've heard some people where after a couple of years, the motor goes bad the glass, it's a lot more difficult to get, like I said, those high-end images, versus this one. It'll not only save you time in Photoshop, but there's different contrast ratios where the low-quality glass might not let as, as much light in. So even at 1.8 on both of these, this can end up being darker. This can end up blowing out your highlights a lot more. So there's really a lot to it, and we'll get into those comparisons. Mm -hmm. Besides lenses, of course, you have your cameras. What I'm shooting on right now is a Canon 6D Mark I. Absolutely phenomenal camera. It is a full frame, and it's also one of the cheaper full frame cameras that you can actually buy, which can be a letdown compared to something like this. Yeah, this, there is auto tracking on this. This is the 5D Mark IV, so it's a newer full frame model, and the, there are issues with it. For photography, it's amazing. For video, it has a pretty bad crop in, and that can give you issues with just stability. And there's also a thing if you just try and hold this, 
because this is a smaller body. Mm -hmm. You'll notice your body naturally shakes because it's a smaller model. And really there's only so much processing that you can handle within a smaller DSLR like this. Mm -hmm. And with that as well, this shoots 4K, but the 4K in a cinema camera is completely different. What you're gonna get in this in 4K, it's baked into the image. If you're underexposed, it's gonna be really hard to get a correct image out of that. So that, that's one difference that's much bigger than say another DSLR that shoots 4K or your phone that shoots 4K is a cinema camera. There's a lot more room to play with. Um, it's a box. <laughs> it is a box. <laughs> Flaps to the Ark of the Covenant. Oh, I'm so scared to even pick this up. Just don't bend the cord. <laughs> no, I'm trying to. Oh. That is a cinema camera. This is the Canon C200. Just, you can do so much more with this compared to like your regular DSLR. Mm -hmm. But with this, it's like, it's super light. Like the first impression is like, you know this is this is some hand, like high quality yeah. stuff. And with the lenses that it comes with, oh man, like the, the picture is gonna be absolutely insane. That was yeah. the first thing with me is I just noticed there's so many different things on it. Versus this, like you have your card, you have your battery, and then you have some ports. Being at a more professional level, you want to have more options to change your image, to quickly access something, and that's really what this extra, I guess, complete other side of the body, that's what you get. You can get ND filters, you can have full audio interface in that, and that's what you're really paying for. The extra two to three of the price, you're getting all of those options with this. Mm -hmm. Remember, you sent me a video of this camera being shot straight directly into the sun. Mm -hmm. And it just, like, the highlights were still there, which is absolutely crazy, because if you shot, like, on a DSL DSLR camera like the 5D Mark IV or the 6D, it would clip that so yeah. much. You wouldn't even get no detail, no, nothing whatsoever. But with this, with the ND filters built into the camera, it's absolutely insane. Yeah, oftentimes, you're getting one or the other with exposing. Like, if you were to expose for the sky, all of the mountains, all of the shadows down are just going to be pure silhouette. Versus this, you're able to get both of that. And the more you're able to see within an image, the more you're able to tell, the more really it's going to look professionally done. Uh, as a side note, don't let this discourage you in any way mm -hmm. at all. Um, it just, it took us time to even get to this point in our entire filmmaking careers. Even like, I started out on a Sony Cybershot camera and it was the it was a great vlog camera absolutely outstanding it did what i wanted to do until i graduated to the t6i which is all the way up here mm -hmm. which is a, still a great camera but the thing is like it's not about what you can do with it it's all about the story and how great you can tell a story like even we even have phones in our pockets that we can use like these phones they shoot 4k which is absolutely insane like compared to like, you know, this camera. This camera will shoot 4K, absolutely. But you also have it in your pocket. So mm -hmm. don't let this discourage you in any way. Those technical things, there's a lot to learn from. Because this one, if you were to start on this, there's a lot that you wouldn't really appreciate and learn right away as you learn from having to overcome those obstacles and really appreciating how important certain things are. Because if you were to give Roger Deakins this camera and you're able to give like a seven year old this camera, pretty obvious that the man with so many years of experience of working in cinematography, lighting, camera movement, composition, storytelling, that's the guy that's gonna win. And that really is what's important, is learning those basics, those little things, those essentials that even the professionals, that they have to worry about. They have to worry about getting focused. They have to worry about what the shot is showing. Not what camera it's on always, but how are you expressing with that? It took me so long to even develop the idea of a story. Like I had random shots that didn't even make sense. My, my camera was out of focus at, m at most points. I didn't even have a story. But once you lay out a storyline and you master that storyline and you have it in a script, I guarantee you guys will Absolutely. Be fine. With that, if you didn't know what you're doing, you could get horrible, horrible images out of this. 
that's not what's important is this it's your ideas it's how much you're learning and how much you're wanting to progress because i didn't get this out of the gate i this is about seven years plus into working production and i'm just getting my first cinema camera and i, I guess that's what it is it's good to know what you're working towards and know how to be better and doing what you can to effectively tell a story with what you have right now. I guess what I would say is what draws me to images to story, it's not really telling, hey, is that an 8K? Is that shot at 240 frames a second? It's what are they telling? It's how am I connecting to these images? Is this something unique? Are these characters saying something that I connect to? Because there's plenty of movies shot in like the 40s that technically don't seem that great, but they have such great lighting, dialogue, and story. So even though your this camera right here is a million times lighter than the giant cinema cameras they had back then, I don't really think one is better than the other. It's what you have. It's all about what you can use at your disposal and what you, you can make out of that. I'm still trying to master the basics. I still have struggles with focusing. I still have struggles with storytelling, but it's it's all a process. This doesn't happen overnight. I, it took me so long to even get to this point in my life and in my career. I think that love is something that is so accessible and possible today because the technology that's in a cinema camera right now, even the most high end in five to 10 years, that technology could very well be in this. So if you're starting out, just think, hey, I'm gonna learn so much over the next 10 years and once I get to that point, I will have made so much and learned so much that when I do get that technology, I'm gonna be so much better off than anyone that, say, is more rich and they just get a camera. I, I'm not gonna connect to whatever they're making. I'm gonna connect to the person with experience and something to say. So if you're worried about getting into, getting into it, just know that this stuff is more accessible every year and it's an amazing time to be creating. One, one more suggestion that I have for you guys is make stuff that you actually enjoy. I guarantee it will, it will anchor you down and you will love what you're doing. I highly recommend that. Absolutely, and that's, that's why I would work so much to be able to even afford this is because I love this. This is getting me so excited to create more things and it's gonna to continue to make me more excited about what I'm making because I'm, I'm getting this different technical look of it and I'm just gonna be like, wow, I'm, I'm excited to create because I've got a new tool. So speaking of excitement, you wanna, yes. run, some, you wanna run some tests? <laughs> We're gonna run some tests. So some studio tests and some outdoor stuff and just compare between, I guess my 5D4 and my new C200. Are you, woo! Are you guys ready? Some of the coolest things about this camera, it has built-in ND filters that are actually inside the camera, so you don't have to go out of your way to get more ND filters because you paid for the top tier <laughs> camera. And I'll show you guys on this screen. And three, two, one. So we are leaving the undisclosed location and we are headed towards the park. As a filmmaker, you're a camel. Exactly. You got to just carry all your stuff. Well, it's a pretty nice day out. A little windy, a little windy, but you got to get our exercise in and we're going to make something awesome. Look at this. I can't even focus on him, but... But this thing, an extra $7,000. Wait, is that a free couch? Got a free couch. Oh, free couch. If anyone wants a free couch. All right, we are aiming for a little small hill over in this yonder, and we're gonna shoot on the C200. We're currently setting up the bad boy, AKA the, the beast. <laughs> the beast. Oh, so you're the one naming it now? <laughs> I mean, what do you, you wanna call it? 
Um, C200. <laughs> C200, that's so lame. That's so lame, man. Sally the C200. Sally with a C. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> so this is a side-by-side -side comparison of the C200 and the Canon T6i. You can see the difference in between the highlights, how the highlights over here are blown out and the shadows are a lot darker compared to the C200 which shows a lot more detail. You're still in focus. Alright, now you're out. You're out. That is so far. Yeah, alright, let's do it. Huh? Uh, you're not in focus yet. You're about to be though. Ooh. Ooh. Am I on? Yeah, you're on. Oh my gulai. That thing is freaking fire, dude. I am so happy right now. That's all I can say. Is I'm just happy. <laughs> dude, this is All right, I'm a, I'm going to end with some footage, but Oh my god, I, I just can't even explain like how good this footage is and it's not even color graded yet It's not color graded. This is our first test with a camera and like We're like really not even trying Exactly <laughs> We're just trying to see how it looks and we're just like blown away by it I'm getting it off with some awesome b-roll clips uh, So please like comment subscribe comment down below on what your favorite clip is and We'll, Peace out. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.